Is it just me or is Hollywood trying to cancel Henry Cavill? We've seen it with the workplace allegations against him on The Witcher, him being labeled as toxic by the women on the set, tearing him apart for his misogynistic gamer point of view of The Witcher, and even going as far as saying that he's been mistreating the directors and female writers on the staff. Such a hard and direct takedown of a man so much beloved by fans. And if you include him being blackballed by Walter Hamada and his version of Warner Brothers, that took only an act of God or Dwayne The Rock Johnson to get him back into the DCEU before being unceremoniously kicked out again when James Gunn took over, eventually leading to his departure from The Witcher. It seems like Henry Cavill has been having a rough five years in Hollywood. Every project he's attached to has some developmental problems, and there's always a conflict with some character in the production staff. Some would say this would lead most to believe that Henry Cavill is the problem. He's clearly causing most of the trouble with these productions, but I'd like to say the opposite maybe Hollywood is the problem here because the projects that he has been working on that have been successful include Mission Impossible and The Witcher first season he drove people to watch those shows and movies he drove people to see Superman in the theaters and he drove people to see the Justice League and even to see The Rock as Black Adam which in hindsight did better than most current DCEU projects but that's besides the point it's clear that Hollywood and Henry Cavill just don't mix and with him taking an executive producer role in a Warhammer series for Amazon, it seems clear that Henry Cavill needs more control to feel comfortable, especially after being out of control during the Witcher production and seeing the quality of that content go down without the power to change it. And that may be the reason why Hollywood is trying to cancel Henry Cavill. With the staff behind the Witcher attacking him, and now everyone but Henry Cavill from the Snyderverse is heading back to the James Gunnverse, in my honest opinion there is a clear attempt to get Henry Cavill cancelled. And it's really easy to understand why. It's because he's a man of conviction. That's the scariest thing for any kind of Hollywood executive. He's a professional that cares about the product he puts out. There's nothing scarier to a two-faced world like Hollywood than that. It's not about money, it's about losing power. And the people we're talking about that are against them, the writers, directors, and producers, are people with teenage level egos and maturity. Let's look at The Witcher's writer's room, for example. Imagine these people writing the most ridiculous stuff and Henry being like, no, this is not good for the product or the movie or the show. They probably probably feel threatened by him and his knowledge of the material they're writing on. Also, him liking and defending material is probably contentious since the writers themselves don't like the source material as it was the case with The Witcher in their writer's room. It properly being known that they hated the book and source material as they wrote for the TV show. And add to that, he wouldn't play politics with this writing and production staff, especially when it came to The Witcher. They wanted him to have multiple sex scenes and he refused. They wanted him to have multiple nude scenes and he refused. In one instance, he was scheduled to do a nude scene and all the writers and producers, all women, all short showed up and sat that day for shooting. Basically, they all wanted to see him fully nude and he refused. But a more serious reason for the pursuit of canceling Henry Cavill comes down to his politics. Now, Henry Cavill himself hasn't stated anything in particular concerning his political representation, but in Hollywood, a non-statement is a statement. If you don't declare yourself one political side, you're seen as an outcast. And that seems to be the case with Henry Cavill, who hasn't chosen a side publicly yet, always playing the classic position of mysterious movie star that represented old Hollywood before the modern day version of Hollywood and social media stars. You would think this would be a positive in today's modern, overexposed celebrity culture in Hollywood, but it's not. Because to the producers in Hollywood, they need to know you're on their side. Because if you're on their side, you won't expose them for the person that they are, which are the hypocritical control control freaks of Hollywood that claim the moral high ground while having no morals at all. And this is not to say that Henry Cavill is some great human being that's perfect in this world. This is more to say that Hollywood has no patience for anyone that isn't as terrible as them. So when a person like Henry Cavill, who's a fan of several of the things he's worked on, who's passionate for his job, who's handsome, who advocates for staying true to the source material, a former fat kid who was bullied, who's a man with traditional values, who dates people opposite to Hollywood's political spectrum, who doesn't share his politics, who doesn't stand on some moral high ground, who defends the fans that love his work, and who's the living embodiment of a Chad gamer nerd, of course they hate him, especially when he pushes back against the politics of those in the production that are seeking to destroy the product that he's involved with. It's clear to me that Hollywood is trying to cancel Henry Cavill. The question now is will they succeed? But I like to look at this from a different perspective, especially in this social media age. It's not about Hollywood allowing you 
you to succeed anymore. It's about the fans who won't let you fail. We've seen this with countless social media figures, from Kanye West to Elon Musk to Trump. Their fans won't let them fail, and I tend to believe the same applies to Henry Cavill. Anyways, this is Wagner Knows Why. Catch you next time.